Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to talk to you about what I feel about this Ferguson matter. Frankly, I don't want to get into it. But what I want to get into is the idea that American police officers and American officers should have um, things like body cam. <sighs> Yeah, I can understand where you're coming from with that, but there's a few problems. A, who is going to pay for it? And B, there are going to be a lot of people saying, look at, the, look at the footage, look at the footage. And every single time anything happens, footage is going to have to be looked at. Well, somebody's going to have to be paid to do that. Um, there's also this, um, s some people are saying about this new system, uh, where basically all firearms, uh, firearms used by the police are chipped. Who's going to pay for that? Who's going to pay to keep that up? Because, yeah, that's not going to break at all. Um... Now, dashboard cams on everybody's car, I can fully justify that. I think that is a great idea. That should have never been not possible. Uh, it's, I think it's pretty much mandatory here in the UK, but I think, yeah, America, you should get your arse out and do that because that is a good idea. Um... He, it's not going to be popular because basically, yes, you want to make sure that you feel safe speaking to a police officer. Well, you should. Um, but then you realise, you look at your tax bill and it's kind of like, oh my God, how much tax do I have to pay now for this? I feel the people who think they should go for have this idea that we can just implement they can implement that technology within the next 48 hours couple of weeks couple of months in america no in britain no <laughs> nowhere would that be possible um for god's sakes they don't even have that in the army i don't think so i wouldn't say it's a good idea. Um, in Britain, every single officer who f carries a firearm is well trained, well tested. I'm not saying the Americans don't have that, but here is the problem. You guys have a problem with uh, medical problems such as stress, being a cop is a stressful job. I think there should be more checks on cops because it's a stressful job in the US. More checks. Uh, I really think that is the way you should be going. Um, let's think about military surplus for cops. Uh, it depends who you give the military surplus to. A Bobby on the... A uh, cop on the beat? No. A SWAT team? Yes. If all the SWAT teams got vans that are proper, if all people who need that kind of technology get the technology cheaper or from somewhere that they need it, that would be good as well. I think... This idea, let's demilitarize the police. Well, yeah, yes, you, that has happened before in America. Um, the, co the cops did have trouble a few occasions where they were overpowered uh, by assailants because they had more technology than the police. Um, I think there was a, I can't tell you what state it was, but there was an event where somebody was using a, an assault rifle against the police 
and at the time they only had shotguns and they had to use basically go into a gun store and get themselves some assault rifles to actually take out the perps. This is the problem. It's if you do put things like that in, you've got many, many problems. Uh I am sure that the killing was a tragedy. Um all killings are. Uh I think that it's half a dozen of one, half a dozen the other. We had the same problem in the UK. It was three years ago, I think, 2011, or maybe whenever 2011 was. Um, somebody got shot um, in London. And they caused riots across the UK um, because people thought, well, let's put, for the UK riots, the London riots, they were just being on, they were just taking the piss. Um, and I really do think that The way people treat the police in the US, in the UK, is really bad. It's like, where is the respect gone? Because if the, if you give somebody an equal amount of respect, you are likely to get an equal amount of respect back. You don't swear at a policeman. This is the kind of thing, and I have actually seen people in the UK swear at policemen for no good reason. And it's kind of like, yeah. And you wonder why you're in cuffs. I, it's... Okay, some some things in the US I do think are harsh, but uh, I, I don't know. This is going to be interesting to see where the American legal system goes from here, because I don't think anybody's going to win out of this. I really don't, because I think no one is going to win. Not the not the American public, not the American legal system, not the police. Nobody. Nobody is going to win. The only people who are going to win are going to be the people who insert these new systems that apparently are needed. Well, the systems have been around for about 30 years. Why weren't they needed then? In the 80s. Uh, yeah. I really think... The sooner the American... You guys who watch this... Or my American fans... Calm down. And as soon as you calm down around the police... They will calm down as well. They're not going to keep... Screwing you over. And it's this idea that people we're going to become militias well uh, this is not the 19th century uh, so i hope all my fans stay safe don't go anywhere near any riots it's never worth the bother frankly um frankly it's a waste of time you're just going to probably get arrested you, that's what is going to happen um just sit back and watch what goes on. It's going to be an interesting time for America. It really is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.